I just wanted to share as much information that I could about the HIDA scan and the biliary hyperkinesia with you so that you had uh, information to empower yourself so that you can advocate for yourself as well. So hey, I my name is Heather and this is my channel, Mama in Motion. If you're new here, welcome. I am on a weight loss journey to lose 100 pounds post hysterectomy, which occurred back in 2021. Um, today I am going in for a HIDA scan, so I just wanted to record a little bit about that. <music> So tell me, like, do I totally blend in with these rainbow stuffed animals? Because I feel like I do. So today is the morning of my HIDA scan at the hospital. I have to check in at 12.30. So for the HIDA scan, I had to eat um, about four and a half hours before the scan and then begin fasting four hours before the scan started. And so I can't eat or drink anything and I'm like really thirsty and of course like all you think about whenever you can't have food or drink is food and drink and like your mouth gets really parched and you're just like man I would really like some water right now like so bad <laughs> it's been two hours since I had water and it feels like it's been like a day <laughs> so um, I'm not really anxious so much about the appointment itself as I am about what the results will say. It's positive that I have um, bilary, bilary dyskinesia, I think is what it's called. Editing Heather here, what I meant to say was biliary dyskinesia. Dyskinesia, I think is what it's called. Um, then I will need to have gallbladder surgery and have my gallbladder taken out. And that would be my ninth, my ninth surgery. Um, it's just a lot to process and deal with, honestly. So I'm not super stoked about getting results that show that I need surgery. Uh, but I do want results that show what's wrong instead of having to take more tests and um, keep the process going searching for answers. So uh, I'm really hoping that the test today shows what's wrong and that it's an easy fix. I mean surgery isn't an easy fix but it's a fix versus not knowing what's going on or like something that will last for a lifetime that I can't fix and I have to live with. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot on my mind right now. I just really wanted to share what is going on uh, for other people who have to have the HIDA scan done because it feels kind of scary. You have to go sit in the machine for like two hours and I know that a lot of people deal with like claustrophobia and feelings like that and you know people get nervous about the IV that has to be put in. I mean I'm not really super nervous about all of that. I don't like sitting in a machine for that extended period of time. I've done it once with um, testing my kidney. I had to have a nuclear test done and I had to sit in the machine for an hour and it was just really boring. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage from the HIDA scan. I don't know if I'll be able to record while I'm in there, but I do hope that I'll be able to listen to my music on my headphones because it is a really long appointment. Um, also, I'm nervous about pain. I forgot to mention that part. I'm pretty nervous about the pain. So it's supposed to bring on your pain um, whenever the gallbladder like fills and empties of bile, which is what the test is recording. So I am pretty nervous about that, but I'm like, well, I'm at the hospital. So I guess if I have like a really bad episode of pain, at least I could get treated while I'm there. We'll see how it goes. I just made it to the hospital. I had parked my car. I am on the third level of the parking garage. It's the highest level, almost. Um, the top is paid parking, I guess. So um, yeah, I barely found a parking spot here at the hospital today, so I'm really glad that I did. But either way, I'm about to go on in and do my height of scan. Bye. <laughs>
just wanted to give a quick update on my HIDA scan. Um, scan went really well. Um, like doing the test itself was not really a big deal. Um, I was able to get the IV done on the first try. Usually I have problems with them finding my veins because they roll. So they were actually able to get a vein on the first try. They had me go into my own private little room and I laid on a little hospital bed and she covered me with a blanket and I was in just my regular clothes, my comfortable clothes. Um, so I just wore a sports bra and like a top. Um, and then I laid there for an hour with the machine over my um, chest and abdomen and it was like a portable HIDA scan machine instead of like a large tube to go into so it was a lot better feeling than being stuck in a tube and it was pretty simple. I just laid there for an hour. They put a little triangular block under my knees so that I could be more comfortable and then I just laid there for an hour and I actually fell asleep listening to music because I was so bored and it was so quiet and you can't really use like one arm so my arm my left arm was against the wall and the machine plate thingy was over that arm so I wasn't able to use that arm you no know, like playing a game or anything but I was able to listen to music while I waited like I said I fell asleep my nurse came back in she had me drink a boost supplement drink which has a lot of fat in it and it's a meal replacement drink. I don't know much about them, but I picked the chocolate flavor and then I drank it down real quick. And then I laid back down on the bed for another hour with the metal plate positioned in the same spot and they watched as the fluid went like through my gallbladder. All I could really see was that stuff was lighting up on a computer screen. I couldn't really tell you what was happening. And uh, I don't know the official results yet from the HIDA scan because I haven't had a chance to talk to my doctor. But it showed a 95% ejection fraction, which from what I understand is really high. Probably be, totally be explaining the symptoms that I'm experiencing. Um, I actually went to the hospital on, what was it, Saturday or Friday? I don't even know. Yeah, okay, so the HIDA scan was on Thursday. I was in pain after the HIDA scan, after I drank that drink, and it just stayed there for 24 hours. So I called the doctor and they told me to go in and be seen at the emergency room where I was treated like I'm a crazy person because my scan showed normal results because it was 35% or more. Um, for the HIDA scan ejection fraction, it was 95%. So my results say normal, but everything that I have found online about it says that it is abnormal and that it is uncommon. So doctors aren't super knowledgeable about it yet. So um, hopefully that's the case and we can just get it resolved and I can go to a surgeon and deal with this crap and be done with it. I don't really want to have another surgery. <laughs> But I don't want to have issues where my gallbladder could literally burst or something. So, I don't know. I just want an answer of what's going on. So, I'm hoping that my doctor will call me tomorrow and talk about the results. Or message me back because I sent him a message. So, once I get the results, I'm going to upload this video and share what I learned about the HIDA scan. All right, so it's been about a week since I was last talking with you, and I have some news. So my doctor actually sent in a referral for me to go see a surgeon. I have biliary hyperkinesia, which is the opposite of what I was worried that I had. So the high ejection rate of 95% means that whenever my gallbladder empties, it empties 95% of its contents every time that I eat, instead of just releasing 35% to 65% of the contents like a normal gallbladder should do. So normally the gallbladder will um, excrete bile and just release part of what's inside of it. Mine is releasing almost all of the contents of the gallbladder all at once, just dumping it into my small intestine. So that is called hyperkinetic gallbladder 
or biliary hyperkinesia. So I have the opposite of biliary dyskinesia and instead of forming um, gallstones or having gall um, bladder sludge that's causing backup problems inside of my gallbladder, uh, I'm having a completely different issue where too much bile is being excreted. Um, so my doctor at first was seeming to just tell me that my results were normal. He responded um, to my test results in a message and he said that the test results were normal and that I had moderate GERD. Um, but other than that, that's all that he said. So I started messaging him and I told him that I joined a um, hyperkinetic gallbladder support group and that I was learning that my symptoms were very normal for what I was experiencing um, regarding the gallbladder and that I wasn't alone in it. And I asked him if he recognized the condition uh, because not all doctors do. I guess it's kind of a controversial thing. So um, he never actually responded back to me. He just sent me a referral to a surgeon. So <laughs> my husband was like, he was just done with you and he wanted to wash his hands of the problem. But I don't know if that was the case or if like the, he researched it some himself and learned that, you know, it is an issue. I really don't know what changed his mind from telling me that it was a normal um, gallbladder ejection fraction to, you know, actually referring me to a surgeon a week later. Um, but either way, I went ahead and followed up with the surgeon. So when I called the surgeon, she said that they were scheduling out to 2023 and that the surgeon would need to review my chart and my test results before they could determine if they would be willing to see me. About 20 minutes later, I got a call back from the nurse and she told me that they would indeed see me and they scheduled an appointment for me with the surgeon um, for a consult on February 9th. So it's pretty far out, about two months away. Um, and I'm pretty nervous about what that means and what it all entails. I'm a little bummed that there isn't really other options for treating this, um, the symptoms that I have and that I just have to deal with it until then. But I do have anti-nausea medicine uh, prescribed by my doctor. And so I suggest that you ask your doctor for anti-nausea medicine if you're struggling with uh, hyperkinetic gallbladder and you have a high ejection fraction. 80% um, or above is considered to be high, so I just want to inform you on that. And I'm going to share some information in the description, a few links of um, like YouTube videos that I've watched to learn about it, and some links um, to the internet. And I'll even share the hyperkinetic gallbladder support group with you on Facebook, so that if you have this condition, you can join the group and you can research this and see things that I have researched myself. Um, I found all of the information that I researched to be super beneficial in understanding the condition and I'm really glad that I went ahead and looked into it instead of just going by what my doctor said was normal whenever um, it clearly isn't normal. So I just, I don't think it's a super recognized condition and uh, so it's kind of hard to find doctors that will actually perform surgery for it. Um, but again, I don't know if I'm going to get surgery yet. I'm just going in for a consult. So I do have a swollen, um, a swollen liver as well as the abnormal clinical test results um, for my gallbladder. So I just wanted to share as much information that I could about the HIDA scan and the biliary hyperkinesia with you so that you had uh, information to empower yourself so that you can advocate for yourself as well. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.